Welcome, I am Kinetic Symphony. I hunt down and report on mysterious and weird true stories, from glitches to the paranormal. Case file number 43, written by user 2D Good Shoes. She's a skeptic, but her husband manifests peculiar coincidences all the time, and it's happening for her too now. My husband is very in tune with happenings, coincidences, manifestations, whatever you want to call it. I've witnessed things happen due to his intuitiveness and will. I'm a skeptic, but get a kick out of experiencing things every so often. This happened to me in just the last week, and it's had me pay attention more, although I feel like paying attention and such will not allow things to happen naturally. It just made me open my mind a little bit. The first two are related, and the last two happened just today. I have a job to restore a monument of the Ten Commandments. No comment on subject, please, it's just a job. When I got to the word Sabbath, Black Sabbath started playing on my shuffled playlist. Today when I finished the word steal, the Jane's Addiction song Been Caught Stealing started playing. My husband is a musician, guitarist, sound engineer, etc, who builds amps and pedals. He showed me a video over the weekend of an ultra rare pedal one that costs over $3,000 on average. Today, one of my coworkers returned a book he borrowed from me, and before he left, another coworker passed by and called out to him asking if he got rid of some amp he had for sale. I said my husband collects vintage gear and is always looking out for stuff. They continued talking, and the first coworker mentioned he was thinking of selling his clone, and I said, a centaur? And he gave me goosebumps. Not just because he owned this ultra rare sought after pedal, but because it was fresh on my mind, and before my husband showed me the video, I had never heard of it before, and here is someone just randomly talking about it. There have been other occurrences here and there in my life that made me pause, but I usually forget about them. When we started dating, he and I would find single dimes everywhere in odd places. He felt there was something about it, but I just thought it was neat. About four years ago, we, us and our two kids, stopped at an auto parts store on the way out of town to visit a museum for Father's Day so he could pick up something. He grabbed a small pack of fuses near the register. He didn't need the fuses, but just bought them. On the way to the museum, we encountered a man with a broken down motorcycle. My husband rides motorcycles and always has his tools in his truck. He pulled over and asked if he could help. The man didn't have any tools with him. He said he took off his saddlebag because he wasn't going far from home and his wife wasn't home to bring him anything. They inspected the problem and all the guy needed was a fuse, just like the one he bought earlier. Case Notes, file number 43. This is like describing synergy with the universe. And for you with your husband, it's simpatico as they say. Do you also finish each other's sentences? Hmm. I had a girlfriend a while back where everything just meshed, flowed like water down a mountain, uninhibited by any obstacles, always able to find the path of least resistance. Sometimes people are just, I don't want to say destined, but they fit together perfectly, almost like Lego pieces. The best I can describe the feeling is as being, when life feels light, it's not just connections between people, it's just when things flow. Some days it's as if a weight is on our shoulders, we're not plugged in. Your husband appears to be just so, implanted within the system of the universe. If we call that connected to the code, or just spiritual, whatever it fundamentally is, I don't doubt he's there. Case file number 44, written by user DJH1982. On command nearly 20 years ago, aboard the USS Philippine Sea, near the Bermuda Triangle, his commanding officer hands him a sheet to sign, then does the same thing in the same way a few minutes later. Déjà vu? Something weird happened to me back in 2001 or 2003, somewhere in that region. I was in the Navy and our ship, the USS Philippine Sea, was deployed for training just north of the Bermuda Triangle. Anyways, I'm sitting there in sonar control for watch standing, watching the sonar display. 
when the rest of the division files in for the morning muster. After the division was dismissed, my boss hands me a sheet of paper and asks me to sign it. It was a health risk screening form for the PRT the crew would have to undergo upon returning to port, Mayport, Florida. I asked to borrow his pen so I could sign the form. Mine was out of ink, and then handed it back to him. Five minutes later, the whole thing repeated itself. I don't mean like déjà vu, I mean like reality itself repeated on a loop with every single detail involved. My boss walked up to me, handed me the same form, and I was so annoyed when I asked why he's having me sign the same stupid form again, tired from the long night. He looked so confused. Once again, I asked him for his pen and signed the form. I was just baffled. Throughout the rest of the day, I asked him repeatedly if he had pulled some prank on me, but he continued to deny it. Finally, at the end of the day, he realized that something strange had indeed happened to me. I guess he realized after a while how genuine I was being and knew that I wasn't given to exaggerations. I told them about the glitch and how no one else seemed to notice it. Was it our ship's proximity to the Bermuda Triangle? Who knows? It never happened to me again, but it did happen. Case Notes, file number 44. Given that you were watching the sonar screen, is there any time display on it? If so, did you notice time itself repeating? Did the clock reset back, or was it simply your boss giving you the form a second time, but without noticing a time distortion too? It's been a long time, I know, so it's understandable if you don't recall that detail. The author responded to my question, saying, That is a great question. I had never even thought to do that at the time. All I can tell you is that my boss approached me to sign the risk factor screening form. Then a few minutes later, the whole thing repeated itself great idea, I was just too tired and disoriented from what was transpiring to think of it. I guess I'm not a very good time traveler. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, and also subscribe on up. I'm always uploading more stories. I'll see you there.